Surprise, we love animals, and we love animals with talent even more. You know that compared to humans, dogs have a better sense of smell, hawks have better eyesight, cats have a better sense of hearing, and so on. Well, these are impressive on their own. Come on, buddy. Scoot. And there he goes. There are some animals with abilities that are straight up out of control. You want robot cobras? Check. Monkey carpenters. Psychic octopus. Look no further. We have those too. They are using the mirror like a tool to look at parts of their own bodies. These unexpected animals with mad skills are jaw-dropping, and some of them make us a bit jealous, but no doubt happy. The following list comprises a handful of such creatures. Here are 15 animals who did things and surprised everyone. Number 15. Hiding Hawk Moth Caterpillar. Some things in nature are not what they appear to be. Even the most innocent animals, insects, and plants have built-in camouflage and form-changing defenses to keep them out of predator sights. Most of the time, camouflage is used to blend into your surroundings. Other times, it's a lot more bizarre. Like this killer camo king caterpillar. That's right, while this slithery little fellow might look like a scary snake, it's actually a hawk moth caterpillar. Uh, looking caterpillar. So this is pretty cool that... When startled, these crawlers can instantaneously transform into snake-like creatures, puffing out the front part of their bodies to rearrange their hidden yellow, white, and black spots. The look is complete with eye-like spots, faux reptilian scales, and a convincing serpentine curve. A caterpillar in drag is a snake. Hawk moth caterpillars, like the hemeroplane Triptolemus in these images, are critically rare. A hawk moth caterpillar can live for up to 10 to 30 days, and it only spends a few days of that molting, which is the small window in which it can appear snake-like. Before we move on, if you don't smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell today, it, the clown, will appear under your bed tonight. Number 14. Meerkats take down Robot Cobra. On its own, a meerkat doesn't stand a chance against an adult cobra. Cobras can grow up to six feet long and are extremely venomous. These impressive predators are able to climb trees, survive long periods of drought, and are one of the most common snakes in southern Africa where the meerkats live. However, above ground and in a group, meerkats have the advantage. Using a complex system of alarm calls for predators, a meerkat will immediately alert the rest of the group if a snake is spotted. Then the group goes on the offensive and will mob the cobra. This teaches the pups to be wary of the cobra and will make the cobra think twice about approaching meerkats in the future. But what if it's a cobra robot? Who will fare better in this battle? As you can see, the meerkats push their luck, getting as close as possible daring the cobra to strike. It's kind of hilarious watching meerkats wear the man-made snake down. But eventually, the snake robot is discovered to not be a threat. The meerkats aren't fooled, and once they realize this, the meerkats kick back with their gang and chill. Chill hard. Number 13. The Secret Hippo Fish Spa. The spy hippo not only gets some seriously rare up close footage of hippos in the water, it reveals an underwater hippopotamus spa where fish nibble at the parasites that are lurking on hippo skin. When it comes to skin care, hippos need a little help. Unable to pick up a stick and scratch their own backs, they've gone into partnership with a fish called the barbell. Barbells nibble away all the ticks and parasites that live on the hippo skin. Their service even includes dental hygiene as well. And no doubt the hippos love it. Who doesn't like a good spa treatment? Filming hippos up close and personal is extremely dangerous as they're notoriously aggressive with many unprovoked attacks on their record. Needless to say, Spy Hippo did come under attack initially and was battered and knocked around as unwelcome at first. The real hippo thought Spy Hippo was a rival hippo, but once they realized it wasn't a threat, the spy was free to catch the spa treatment fishes from the front row. The fish couldn't be more satisfied, and that's for sure. Number 12. Orangutan saws branches for fun. 
an orangutan has been captured performing do-it-yourself repairs better than some humans. The incredible new footage reveals a female great ape using a saw to skillfully slice a stick in two. The talented ape uses her right hand to hold the tool and her feet to grip the tree branch like a vice. She even blows away the sawdust to inspect her work like a true craftsman. She previously learned these skills by watching builders at work in the region. When she spots a robot orangutan copying her behavior, the great ape immediately becomes more competitive. When the television crew arrived in the rainforest and deployed the spy orangutan to film the wild apes, they were left astounded. Speaking on the upcoming episode, a spokesperson explained, A rehabilitated orangutan released 35 years ago had previously learned this behavior, but she has not been seen for many years. No one suspected that any full wild orangutan knew the technique, but this one suddenly picked up a saw and used it. Spy orangutan has been programmed to saw too, and when the real orangutan spotted her sawing, game on. Number 11. Coco meets her hero. I recently had a mind-altering experience communicating with a gorilla, said Robin Williams, the legendary comedian and actor, in a video regarding Coco. And it's clear to see. Coco understands spoken English and uses over 1,000 signs to share her feelings and thoughts about daily events, life, love, even death. The pair met in 2001 and appeared to hit it off straight away, with the two communicating using the sign language Coco had been taught. When Robin attended the foundation to take part in a campaign to raise awareness of the dangers wild gorillas face, Coco instantly connected with Robin. She was quickly drawn to Robin's warm heart. Robin went on to become an honorary co-chair of the Gorilla Foundation's campaign to aid the animals at risk. Sadly, after Williams' passing in 2014, Coco overheard Dr. Penny Patterson. More, I think you need more. More water. Her mentor and surrogate mother talking on the phone about Williams' death, and Coco became extremely sad. She explained, Robin's ability to just hang out with Coco, a gorilla, and in minutes become one of her closest friends was extraordinary and unforgettable. Number 10. Rock Octopus Camouflage This is the incredible moment an octopus amazed a diver with its amazing color-changing camouflage as it hid in plain view. Completely unexpected, footage was captured by a diver as he swam in the crystal clear waters in the French Riviera. As the diver swims through the water, he uses his hand to point to the floor in what appears to be rocks and seaweed. Heading down to the bottom, the diver swims through seaweed before focusing the camera on the ragged mess of rocks. But the rock does not appear to be what it seems, as suddenly an octopus bursts off the rock and swims off into hiding, squirting ink as it flees. The incredible octopus interchanged between its natural brown complexion and the deep sea green of its surroundings. It had settled on a spot and changed color in order to blend seamlessly with the surrounding reef. Thousands of color-changing cells called chromatophores just below the surface of the skin are responsible for these remarkable transformations. These special pigment cells allow them to control the color of their skin, much like chameleons. They can also change the texture of their skin to better blend in. Number 9. Chaser, the Canine Einstein When she was two months old, Dr. Piley started teaching Chaser the Canine Einstein proper nouns, beginning with a blue ball. He used a strategy called errorless learning, which means setting up an environment in which the subject cannot fail. He would name it, show it to the pup, say, catch blue, and throw it to her. At the end of the fifth month, she had learned 40 words and kept them in her long-term memory. Over the course of three years, up to four to five hours a day, Chaser learned new objects and their names. Hey, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. To Papa. Piley jokes that he almost had to go to bed at 8 p.m. just to keep up with Chaser's never-ending energy and attention to the training. The doctor's goals with Chaser were to teach her human language and explore what the canine brain was capable of. Dogs have that social relationship that's been evolving for thousands of years, and not to tap into that, he believed, was a huge mistake. The greatest leaps in animal cognition are when we work one-on-one -on -one with animals, not groups of animals, because you can't develop or strengthen a bond quickly when you're working with a group of dogs. He really believed it would be meaningful to work with one dog, and that dog was Chaser. Number 8. Lock-Picking Cockatoo 
Experts at the University of Oxford gave a group of cockatoos a challenge. Pick a lock to access a nut visible behind a transparent door. The birds had to remove a pin, followed by a screw and a bolt, before turning a wheel to release a latch. Five birds were successful, but one of the cockatoos, called Pippin, broke in unassisted in under two hours. It was also the only bird to remove the screw with its foot instead of its beak. The birds worked determinedly and consistently, employing a cognitive ratchet approach, meaning that once they had discovered how to crack a lock, they then didn't struggle with the same device again in the future. This, according to the researchers, is consistent with the birds having an understanding of the goal they were pursuing. Cockatoos that at first struggled with the locks were able to complete the puzzle after watching a partner do it, the study found. The secret to the cockatoo's success seems to be the way in which they tackled the task, by using touch extensively to explore the working of the locks. Rather than simply using vision, they used their tongue and beak as well. That's a creative cockatoo. Number 7. Monkey Thief Bartering It's important to stay alert when visiting Macaque country. These charismatic primates live across Southeast Asia, and in places where they overlap with humans, they're known to be a bit of a nuisance, not least because of their penchant for stealing our stuff. But a few groups of long-tailed macaques in Bali have taken their mischief a step further. They'll steal something from you and hold it for ransom for their favorite snacks. This behavior, known as robbing and bartering, has been studied in captivity, but rumors have abounded for many years about these same antics in wild macaques. But sunglasses, flip-flops, hats, and even jewelry, everything is fair game, and locals have become experts at buying the valuables back with pieces of food. But this behavior is actually quite unusual in wild animals, and now, for the first time, researchers have some answers on what drives these long-tailed macaques to become thugs. The struggle is real for this animal. Number 6. Problem Solving Crows A short stick, a long stick, and a few stones. All a bit difficult to get to, a wild crow solves a complicated eight-part puzzle to get to its food. Are crows the ultimate problem solvers? Spoiler alert, yes, this is a very smart bird. A small South Pacific island is home to crows with remarkable abilities that have scientists hooked. New Caledonian crows make and use tools, including a kind of fishing hook. But can they bake a cherry pie? They can solve complex problems and have been recorded capturing grubs by repeatedly poking them with a stick until they're so agitated that they bite. So smart and annoying. Now, an experiment using a vending machine specifically designed for crows has revealed something about how intelligence evolves. The vending experiment is the latest in an ongoing investigation into these birds' abilities. They're so remarkable that scientists have a special aviary in New Caledonia where they can keep wild birds for only a few days and test their problem-solving prowess, before releasing them back into the forest, but not before filing the researchers' taxes. Number 5. Fake Panda Pregnancy Panda birth? Cancelled? Officials called off the live broadcast of a giant panda giving birth because, as it turns out, she wasn't actually pregnant. I Hin, a six-year-old giant panda living at the Chengdu Giant Panda Breeding Research Center in China, had exhibited signs of pregnancy for two months, but the center realized she actually had a phantom pregnancy, or maybe she knew exactly what she was doing. The life of a pregnant giant panda living in captivity sounds pretty sweet, relatively speaking. She gets her own pad loaded with amenities such as air conditioning, around-the-clock care, and a serious supply of buns, fruit, and bamboo. Pandas with phantom pregnancies sometimes notice the nicer setup that comes with initial signs of pregnancy and carry on with the charade. So some clever pandas have used this to their advantage to improve their quality of life, panda expert Wu Kong Yu says. As such, figuring out whether a panda is pregnant is no easy task and a giant panda fetus is actually quite small, so it's difficult to find it with an ultrasound scan. Huh, what do you know? Pampered pregnant panda problems. Number 3. Paul the Psychic Octopus Paul the Octopus was a common octopus used to predict the results of association soccer matches. Accurate predictions in the 2010 World Cup brought him worldwide attention as an animal oracle. So, prepare to be amazed, Paul's keepers would present him with two boxes containing food. 
The boxes were identical, except that they were decorated with the different team flags of the competitors in upcoming championship soccer matches. Whichever box Paul ate from first was considered his prediction for which team would win the match. Then the octopus enjoyed some dinner. Paul correctly chose the winning team in four of Germany's six Euro 2008 matches and all seven of their matches in the 2010 World Cup, including Germany's third place playoff win over Uruguay. He also correctly chose Spain as the winner of the 2010 FIFA World Cup final. In all, Paul amassed an overall record of 12 correct predictions out of 14, a success rate of approximately 85%. That's some pretty good odds. Can Paul help us win the lottery? Number 2. Chimps in the Stone Age In the rainforests of West Africa, the woodlands of Brazil, and the beaches of Thailand, archaeologists have unearthed some truly remarkable stone tools. What makes these tools noteworthy is that the hands that held them weren't human. These stone tools were wielded by chimpanzees, capuchins, and macaques. These primates developed a culture that made routine use of a stone-based technology. That means they entered the Stone Age. Many scientific studies, including Jane Goodall's famous work with chimpanzees in Gome, Tanzania, have documented chimps using tools to complete or simplify tasks like cracking nuts open and getting termites out of logs. But not many researchers have been able to effectively observe this until now. No one has documented a definite case of chimpanzees using tools in the traditional sense. Scientists generally believe that these traits like higher cognitive skills were due to bursts of adaptive evolution. Or maybe just boredom? Who can say? Number 1. Beluga Finds a Phone Recently, an accused Russian spy has been hanging around the Norwegian port city of Hammerfest. Except it's a beluga whale, and the beluga's odd behavior has certainly made it an international sensation. Whereas white belugas are generally shy around people, this particular one is acting out of character for its species. Seeming to completely soak up all the attention it's getting, the spy beluga is allowing residents to pet, feed, and take selfies with it. That includes Ina Mansinka and a group of her friends. She wanted to see the beluga for herself and learn firsthand just how eager to please the animal can be. We lay down on the dock to look at it and hopefully get the chance to pat it. Ina told the press, I had forgotten to close my jacket pocket and my phone fell in the ocean. We assumed it would be gone forever until the whale dove back down and came back a few moments later with my phone in its mouth. The beluga whale, believed by marine experts to have been trained by the Russian military, is enjoying its stay in Norway, and the locals are loving it too. Videos posted online show the alleged Russian operative being fed by hand, dancing in circles and even checking out a curious dog. Those were 15 animals who did things and surprised everyone. Thanks for watching.